Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot Wars Z 2.1 In the last part we uh, started Chapter 2 uh, The World Changes And uh, yeah, we got we got, we got got uh, several new units That being uh, Duo, Setsuna and Lock-On Still haven't looked at Lock-On stats I'll do that now So, Lock-On Stratos is uh, an example of, of our first example of uh, Oops about that uh, is our first example of a uh, of a pilot with a uh, with a sub pilot, as it were. It's a uh, a sub uh, sub pilot. <laughs> ah, it's it's, tri it's uh, triangle in MLR. He has a Haro accompanying him. Now Haro here is only going to uh, he's basically just here to give uh, spirits, and you can see he only has four max four spirits. Show by the by the fact that he only has four sets of question marks over here. He doesn't have any skills, and neither. Uh, uh, yeah. So yeah, um, Haro has scan, and scan lets you view an enemy's stats before you fought them. And I think in this game it gives a ten percent uh, accuracy, a ten percent um, evasion penalty. That might be the OG games. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I don't think I don't think it did that. Okay, anyway, yeah. So I, I guess we can use this to have a look at the Hellion, I suppose. The Hellions uh, are also garbage, garbage tier enemies. Anyway, yeah. So um, Lock On here, as I said, has uh, has Haro here to help him with spirits. He has uh, his spirits are Snipe and Aim, or Strike rather. Uh, snipe increases the range of one. Bleh, increases the range of all of your attacks for one attack by two so all of your uh, all of the all of the dynamis's attacks get their maximum range increased by two until they until they attack i think actually it's i think i think it's for a, a turn actually but i'm not sure let's have a look uh yeah no i i it doesn't say okay and um yeah uh, and uh, aim or strike uh, is the. Actually, we talked about uh, strike when when uh, we Fate turned up with sets. Anyway, yeah. So um, lock on has uh, aim, which yeah sets your accuracy to 100% for an entire turn. And no, no questions asked. Uh, yeah, uh, lock on's a good good pilot. He is uh, range focused. The only problem that he has is that his is is in his skills. He only has he has blocking uh, will up on hit and support attack level two. Problem is he doesn't have hit in a way, which is pretty much uh, which is a pretty serious problem for a uh, for a sniper sniper mech for, for a sniper mech pilot. Hit in a way is pretty important for uh, for a sniper. On the other hand, the Dynamus is pretty good. It's reasonably reasonably good. Its mobility isn't as high as the Exia's, but its defense is higher to make make up for that. Its accuracy is also higher because it's a sniper. It has uh, 48, 4700 HP and, and 60 energy. It has a sword and a shield. And uh, yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, um, snipe the uh, the snipe skill and anything that increases your range at all in uh, in regards to uh, to uh, power parts or option parts. Uh, optional parts, uh, they cannot increase the range of one range attacks. It has to be uh, one to two range or larger, kind of thing. If 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 a weapon has uh, only, is only range one, then it can't have its range ex range extended. Yeah. So uh, yeah, these weapons are reasonably powerful, which is nice. Uh, it's, it's even got some. Um, it, the the, the Dynamis even has some uh, reasonable post-move attacks, including a one to four, which is pretty good for a for a sniper mech. For, for a sniper mech's post-move. Anyway, yeah. Oops. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get on with this uh, with this map again now, shall we? We. So Crow's gonna throw out focus and uh, use his new 
Bayonet Spiker, which is a new weapon for him. We. So I, I actually made a made a mistake with regards to the. Uh... There we go. I, I actually made a mistake with regards to the to the Braster. I actually uh, I actually actually accidentally picked the uh, the melee version. I, I picked the melee version of the uh, of the Braster in in the last map, so I actually 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 had to replay that map. It went almost exactly the same. It, it went basically the exact same way. So everybody still has the same amount of experience and stats and stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I I actually I picked the wrong I picked the wrong mech. So you'll notice the uh, the uh, the Braster stats are slightly different now. So for what for one thing, the uh, the eagle shot and the clutch sniper are slightly more powerful, whereas the bayonet spiker and the bunker bu bunker break are are slightly less powerful. And the ACP phase is one to six range and is a ranged attack now, but it is slightly less powerful. Yeah, so uh, ACP phase being one to six is pretty good. We've got bayonet spiker, which reduces mobility because of that netting thing, I think. And uh, yeah, so the brass is pretty good now. And yeah, let's let's have a look at, uh, at Duo doing stuff. We. Oh yeah, um, Duo only has alert as his as his uh, current spirit. He doesn't have focus, unfortunately, which means that he's unlikely to dodge, to dodge things without without alert. Or oh, oh, well. Not unlikely, but it's it's he's uh, he's not reliably dodgy right now. Go beam scythe. That uh, that froze the froze the uh, emulator a little bit there. Shoot. The, uh, Leo's beam saber. Beam, beam saber. Leo's beam beam. Uh, Beam rifle there. Hmm. We're going to come over here and uh, slash up this guy. I think more focus from Setsuna. Again, we've got we've got two more turns until this map has to be over. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I would have uh, I, I probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't be so slash. Otherwise, I wouldn't be so uh, you know, so wasteful with regards to uh, SP, but it's fine at the moment. <laughs> Is this the Hellion? It's uh, a garbage. It's it's literally. If you looked at the Enact, this thing is worse than it in every way, and the Enact just got its its backside kicked by us really hard. So let's use let's let's have a look at these GN missiles. Actually, no, 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 let's not do that. Because if I use the sniper rifle, I can shoot at this guy over here. Hello, Haro. So, we're doing some more sniping. Shot. Who's the next target? That's that. That is that line, by the way. Who's the next target? It's a good line. So, that's it for this turn. You'll notice I've left these three alive. These four alive. That's because uh, that's a fairly standard strategy in Super Mario Wars games. Enemies do not. The, the enemy does not have any kind of uh, of self-preservation built into them in any way the only the only the only uh, way that an enemy will protect itself is by attacking someone who's who's out of range but there's no one out of range right now for any of these guys I'm completely surrounding them so they will just kill themselves on me Let's see there we are we're we gonna use the GN Vulcans yeah sure let's do it <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are suicidal. Yeah, I, I don't actually know what. Uh... Hey there, Vulcans. Yeah, I, I don't actually know what the enemies uh, use to make decisions as to what, as, as to uh, who they target. But to be honest, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> Just gonna, gonna go and uh, deal with these Leos. That's the, that's the Leo Beam Saber attack there. We. We. And dead. Bye, Leo. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I might as well have a look at the GNB pistol as well. It's uh, the lock on's weakest move. It'll be also probably one that's going to be seeing quite a bit of use because it's also his only uh, post move attack that isn't just one range. But hey. It is also pretty cool. It's a dual wielding beam pistol. <laughs> yeah, bye bye, Leo. And let's have a look at the sword rifle as well. Seeing as we haven't seen that yet. Let's go, Satsuna. So there's uh, the beam rifle there. Fairly, uh, fairly simple, simple animation. So, we've only got two enemies left. We've got four units to take them out with. So let's see who gets the kills. Well, Duo's getting a kill because he's not level four yet. And I think Setson is going to get the other kill. Let's have a look at the GN missile attack. We haven't seen this one yet. Just guarantee that it'll hit by casting a by casting aim here. Strike. Missiles. Yeah, that's all right, I guess. This, this attack will almost certainly never be used, or, or almost never be used, because uh, because the sniper rifle is better in every way. Let's have a look at the buster shield attack. Let's do it. Buster shield attack, let's go. So I quite like this attack, even though it's not actually very useful. It's a good looking attack. Bye, Hellion. You're terrible. And the uh, Clutch Sniper is, uh, I think, new as well. So let's have a look at that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh, the Clutch Sniper is new. Well, I mean, it's definitely new. What am I talking about? Shocked. Again. Wow. You really dodged me? Okay, no, you didn't dodge me. You just... The game just wasted, like... <laughs> the game just wasted, like, a minute playing that animation of Crow Missing. SR point, get. So, uh, yeah, got, uh... These guys chatting now, and then everyone's leaving. And 
and uh, Billy and Graham are talking about uh, the Gundams. Also, um, Zex is here, and who's that? I don't know who that is, actually. Anyway, um, yeah, also, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the space elevator that the AU own, not the AU, the, uh, Human Reform Foundation own, have just, has just been attacked by terrorists, and, uh, these guys have just protected it. That's the, uh, the other two double O Gundam pilots. They're, they're called uh, Gundam Meisters in uh, in Double O for some reason, and here's uh, Sergei Smirnov, who's uh, absolutely shocked that he was completely useless, and uh, that Gundams exist apparently. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's uh, fairly nice. Let's just uh, put the put the uh, player on again. So. Uh, Crow's talking to Treya about the uh, mobile suits, the Gundam is, the Gundams. Uh, Crow's also noticed that the Death Scythe is is similar to the Shenlong, um, despite well, uh, because they're, they're from the same series, obviously. Although he doesn't know that, obviously. And uh, yeah, Elia Shenberg, aka the uh, the founder of Celestial Being, the uh, organization. Yeah. The organization that controls the Gundams has just made his announcement. Celestial Being are, a, are a, uh, an organization that seeks to rid the world of rid the world of war by destroying weapons of war. <laughs> Which is kind of hypocritical, to be honest. Kind of dumb as a uh, as a as a uh, you know. Uh, as a premise, but hey, I guess um, that that yeah, that's that's gen that's the general uh, the general gist of it. Uh, Duo is talking to himself about the Gundams about about the Celestial Being Gundams, and uh, Trey's and Zex are talking about them as well, along with the uh, yeah uh, Trey's Trey's Marquis. And the Sex Marquis and Trace Cushionada are talking about them. Those are guys from uh, Gun and Wing, by the way. And uh, yeah, we've got Ms. Sumeragi Lee Noriega over here as the uh, the uh, Celestial Beings tactical advisor, talking with the uh, with the Gundam Meisters and her uh, her battleship crew about uh, about the next job and about the plan. I, I can't read Japanese, as I talked about in SC Gundam. I can't read Japanese, so I have no idea what, what these guys are actually saying in terms of actual words. But I've got a story overview written, like, uh, from, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm pulling the, the plot off from a, uh, from a Let's Play on, uh, on something awful of, of this game. So I can I can give you a, a general general gist of what's going on in each scene, but unfortunately this is this is a uh, this is a let's play that doesn't have a uh, like a transcript or anything. Crow still can't afford anything that I actually want him to get. He is still my only unit. On the other hand, he does now have the ability to equip a repair kit. Now, uh, repair kit is a once per map use item. You can use it to repair your HP to full once per map. I believe it. I'm pretty sure it's once per map in this game. Earlier on in the series, it was once ever, but I think in this game it's once per map, which is uh, that's that's how most of the late, but most of the uh, more recent Super Robot Wars games have been using doing uh, consumables, and uh, I'm very grateful for that. Anyway. I don't want to spend any money right now because I've done. I've spent a fair amount of money on this thing already for uh, for a brand new gameplay uh, for, for a black brand new uh, save file. So uh, yeah, I'm going to save some money for the other for any other mechs that we actually end up picking up. So I will see you guys next time when we start chapter when we start mission three, which is uh, I think going to be a a route split. So I'll uh, I'll talk about that when we do that. 
until then, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.